nice air conditioning on a warm day with the husband who's freaking hot! You're a hot husband! No? Okay. Jamie's vlog! It's good day. Oh, no, actually, good morning, Interwebians. It's a really nice day here in New York. Got a decent amount of sleep. And I've just been relaxing. Now, seeing him on 14 makes me think of one thing. I should play as my tank. Because I'm leveling my tank. Yes. Too, because the tanks have to like move around and stuff like that. They can't just stand there and take every oh, yeah. So, so just as you line up a big heel to help them out, they dodge out of the fucking way. It's like, yeah, stop! No. <laughs> <laughs> so, anything else been happening online? Not an awful lot, really. Nothing with uh, Mimi. Mm -hmm. Nothing really, Mimi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Not particularly. Uh, uh, one of the games that I was following in. Uh, one of the uh, code monkeys for the game, whom I follow on Twitter, their game released yesterday, Aeon Altar. Nice. So uh, basically it's like a sort of like a Dungeon and Dragons um, style uh, RPG game where you control it with, with cell phones. So. Yeah, so we're talking about that. Yeah, thing. Did you buy it? Yeah, you see. Yep. Did you buy that? Oh, uh, it's still in development. No, it's it's out now. It's it's been released. Oh, right. So I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it's it's uh it's actually kind of cool because all of your information uh, is on your phone. What your character would say, you know, because you have options, your attacks, and also I th uh, he also said something that they would have like special secret missions. So right, that you can choose to carry out or not carry out. 
So that's another game to play. Yeah, I think so. So, for our phones, it's going to be with Pokemon Go when it releases. Yep. And this. Yes. I quite well, like... Well, the thing is, is it has to be played on a PC. Yeah, I know that. But the game, the controlling is done on the phone. Yeah. yeah. Do you have, is it free to download? No, it's not. What, the app you mean? Yeah. Yes, yes, the app for Eon Alter is free, yes. Fair yes. enough. And the actual game costs money. They have, like, they're going to be releasing it in chapters. Mm. So, chapter one is out. That one. What? It sounds like, it's interesting. I like chapter the one is five dollars, dude. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> that whole idea of, like, it's set in chaps and stuff. It's, it's, uh, I like a full not just like in chapters where it's like the, the, the price is reasonable so I'm fine with it and this is a bunch of indie developers without any sort of official backing of any kind whatsoever that's fine so yeah <laughs> so that outweighs any we can now see if they were a larger company yeah. or a larger publisher then yes I would see your point but since they're a small group indie and not associated with any large, and they're self-published, not associated with any large publishing firm, then that's, that's, right. that's, that's the, it's the best option, I think. Yeah. So I'm willing to let that slide. So I was like, no, because it's worth it. Like, eh. Yes, I know. You weren't paying attention. You were like, eh. no. 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 Ah. No. <laughs> it's the nope butterfly. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> I'm a butterfly. I like to flap my wings. No. You just see me like this. I'm flying! Jesus Christ, you're causing the whole fucking car to bounce. Did it? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shit. Last time it made the I'm car bounce. I'm supposed to be the fat one. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Right. You're one of us! <laughs> Welcome home, Ash. Ah, uh, so. I'm in work. Yes. Hopefully, not for long. We'll see. I'll make it out early. We'll see. If so, I'll give you a tinkle. I'll see you guys in. in this amount of hours. Yes. So, that much. See you then. Now it's Christmas time. He's cooking. So, what's the pound doing now? Uh, according to Bloomberg, it's uh, dropped in value by a dollar and thirty-five cents. It's the lowest it's been since nineteen eighty-five. I would like to say this now to all of my friends in Europe and some in the UK that I am so sorry. I honest to God will say this now, not everyone in Britain is fucking dumb. I'm, I'm just saying. Well actually this chart I'm just seeing here speaks volumes about the whole thing. Go for it. Uh, so the age group from 18 to 24, 64 percent have voted remain. Uh, 65 and up, 58 percent voted leave. And that's from 65 and up. Age 65 and up. 58 percent of them voted to leave, while ages 18 to 24 mostly voted remain. That's by 64 percent. Even the oldest young folks, yeah, 25 to 49. It was a 45% to remain, 39% to leave. And the numbers next to it, years, the average number of years they will have to live with the decision. 65 and plus, approximately 16. 18 to 24, approximately 69. That's another one as well. Here's when adults say to act your age and uh, respect your elders. Yeah. Uh, the 65 that voted to leave, you're showing a good example there, aren't you? 
Thanks, guys. Yeah. You know, I usually say I weep for this generation with those hoverboards and shit. Is it too late to kind of put a bit of a weep in for the last generation or so? No, keep your tears for this generation because the last generation clearly doesn't care about them. Yeah. Don't care about recycling, you know. Leave it for the next generation. And Oh, why are you recycling now? We didn't have to do it back in our day. Yeah. Because, you know, we have to deal with your mess. Thanks, guys. I think another glass will have to do me. Actually, continuing on, I'm on theguardian.com with a political map to see what's going on. I'm curious to know now, from the Welsh district, from Neath, how many of you did it? Fuck the glass. 43 to remain, 56 to leave. Pretty close split, but... No. Yeah. Yeah, trying to show America and stuff, you know, Britain's not all that bad. You know, we are a respected country, we love one another. I'll tell you what. Because right now, I'm just in that state where if I look at it anymore, I am going to just break. I'm going to call it night, drink, forget this ever fucking happened, play 14, and just try and see the brighter side of it, being that I'm in America with my husband. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully, you have enjoyed today's video. I know I've enjoyed today, but uh, if you like what you saw, and with everything that's been going on, then don't forget to like and subscribe, and we shall see you for a brand spanking new day tomorrow, and hopefully it will be better than the rest. I kind of hope, I'll have to say this month has kind of sucked. Yeah, been a shit year so far. Well, with what's been happening in the news and such. Not with me and Chris. Everything's great. But, uh, this. This is bullshit. It is. Again, I do apologise, guys. We are honestly better than that. But. <sighs> on your heads, Britain. It's on your heads. Must have.